uh, I believe I got your question. Um, and but before I address that, I see another question from Ryan. So let me answer that quickly. So uh, if she uh, responds to propanolol, if she's good, is this ET? No, the answer is no. Medication response do not use this as a diagnostic tool. Even in Parkinson's, don't use levodopa response as a diagnostic of treatment because there are, uh, you can make both mistakes. If someone has ET, they may not respond to propranolol. So if someone does not respond to propranolol, you cannot say they don't have ET. And then response to propranolol can happen in any tremor. Resting tremor of Parkinson's can respond to propranolol. Dystonic tremor can respond to propranolol. Uh, neuropathic tremor can respond. Medication induced tremor can respond to propranolol. And then response also has to be defined. Uh, there are two types of response. So one response is where there is a tremor in a normal resting relaxed state and the tremor improves. That's a true response. But then someone has a tremor and it gets worse whenever they're nervous and you give them propranolol, it blocks that anxiety induced uh, hormone response, the, the cytochrome, the response. And they, they still have the tremor the same at the resting state, but now they are better because they don't get worse when they're anxious or nervous. So they consider the response. They say, oh yeah, I'm great from propranolol. And what they're saying is that they don't shake as much when they're nervous. So that is still a response, but it's not the same thing as responding at rest. So that's why for all of these reasons, uh, do not use a response to a treatment as a diagnostic tool or diagnostic criteria. You can still use the medication and get the benefit and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with it, but don't use this to change or, or label a diagnosis. Now, 